there is a safe place where you can buy cheap FIFA 16 coins. It's fifacoinservice.com and if you use the code LFC, you can get an additional 5% discount. Check out gamersaloon.com to win real money playing FIFA. Download their free mobile app today to get started. After the season ended and I finished at Charlton, I went back to Portsmouth and I sat down with my agent and I told him that I want to move clubs. And he asked me, are you sure about this? Because at Portsmouth you would be starting every week and uh, you, can, you could build yourself up and maybe guide them to promotion. But I said, I'm too good to play in English League 2 or League 1 or whatever league Portsmouth are in. I just tore up the championship. And uh, the agent said, okay, I will see what I do. And then I went to the manager of Portsmouth, who, you know, I'm not a very good, in a very good relationship with him. And I told him that I want a transfer. And he said, well, we gave you a start when nobody, and I repeat, nobody gave you a chance in world football. We gave you a professional contract. And after half a season, you went on loan. But I said, wait. You sent me out on loan. I didn't want to go on loan, but you ke you kept uh, trying to loan me out. And I just went to the championship and I almost got Charlton promoted. I'm too good for this club. I'm too good for you. Listen, son, you can't talk with me like this. I will put you on the transfer list. We don't want players like you at this club anymore. Get out. What is up lads, it's Tommy here and welcome back to the My Player Career Mode show and you guys have the biggest decision to make today. You guys will decide which club I go to next season. So after we finish with Charlton Athletic, I will go back to Portsmouth, I will end the season and then we will see which team, which teams offer me a contract and you guys will decide out of those teams which I can go to. So make sure to vote in the Stropo vote. I will put a link in the video's description. So let's play Derby County. Let's go try and end the Charlton loan spell with a victory and hopefully me scoring a goal. Go on. No penalty? Really, bro? Beautiful. Bang one. Oh, man, what a miss. Oh! Oh, come on! How did you... What? How did you not score that, bro? Go on. Oh! Great steal! Oh, referee! That is a red card. He took me out. Sent him off, ref. What? What? You cannot give a free kick... I... What is this referee doing? Get off me. Come on. Bang one! Oh, come on, man. I just can't do anything. Oh. Oh, please. Boom! Oh, I just can't score. Foul! There we go. Are you serious? Oh, they subbed me off. Okay. Okay, so I got subbed off and the game finished as a nil-nil draw. So that means that we finish in 10th place. And in all honesty, we needed to win pretty much every single game since I come in, came into the club. to For us to have any chance of getting promoted because uh, the club had a terrible first half of the season. So it's not really my fault, I tried to do everything and I I still scored a, a, a decent uh, amount of goals. Let's take a look at my record at Charlton. So I scored 10 goals and got 2 assists in 18 games. I think for a young 19 year old striker that's a pretty decent return. So here are my league expectations for the season. So they wanted me to score 5 goals at Charlton, I managed to score 8. I could only set up one assist, one of my teammates, because most of the time they missed, uh, missed uh, every chance. But yeah, I got a pretty decent match rating and my goal conversion rate was also very good. So I basically completed three of, my, of the four targets that they set me. So now I'm going back to Portsmouth and I will ask for a transfer. 
So I'm back at my old club Portsmouth and I've been training all summer so I'm now a 75 rated player which will hopefully help us get maybe even better offers. So I'm requesting a transfer, you guys wanted this to happen. The manager turned down my transfer request three times but at the fourth time of asking finally, finally they said yes so they will put me on the transfer list. And now let's see what kind of offers will roll in. Really, really excited to find out. Uh, again, I had to simulate until transfer deadline day. And this time we are getting an offer from West Ham United. So I will let you guys vote for West Ham United as well. See, But actually playing for West Ham could be a really good move. They could be finishing in the top half of the Premier League. They have a very, very good squad. This time it's the last hour of the transfer deadline day. Oh, and we get... An offer from Aston Villa. Remember on FIFA 15 I played for Aston Villa for half a season before Real Madrid came calling. So this could be actually another good move. So West Ham, Aston Villa, these are good options, really good options. I'm liking that the Premier League clubs are interested in my services. So Aston Villa will be added to the vote. Oh, a very exciting transfer for Newcastle United, who I have a sp soft spot for. When Alan Shearer played there, they were a joy to watch, a really, really good club with great fan base, huge 50 plus thousand seater stadium. So it would be a really exciting challenge to go to Newcastle. So I will add that to the vote as well. Aston Villa, West Ham. Aston Villa, West Ham United or Newcastle United. I think those three are very, very good options. So you guys will decide out of those three clubs which, I, which club do I go to. This is about the 15th time I've simulated at the transfer deadline day and uh, only those three offers came in. The other times there was no offer on the table. The transfer window, transfer deadline day came and went without a single offer. So... So I think I will stop here. Those are three very good options. And we'll let you guys decide which club I go to. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome. See you later.